Okay, so we are at Customize Record Highlights with Compact Layouts. Um, as I continue going through this module, as always, if I come across a, a user story or a solution to something tricky that I find, I'll add it in the description down below. Um, with that, let's get started. Okay, uh, Customize Record Highlights with Compact Layouts. We're going to learn how to describe, compact layout, describe how Compact Layouts help your users and create a custom compact layout. What do compact layouts do? Compact layouts control which fields your users see in the highlights panel at the top of the record. They also control the fields that appear in the expanded lookup card when you see when you hover over a link in record details and in the details section when you expand an activity in a activity timeline. Okay, maybe because it's like the end of the day and I'm tired, but that didn't make a... I'm trying to understand that. Compact layouts control which fields your users are seeing in the highlights panel at the top of the record. Okay. They also control the fields that appear in the expanded lookup card when you hover over a link in the record details. And in the details section when you expand activity timeline. Okay, so I would say compact layout, compact layouts control which fields you see in highlights panel on top of record. I don't know what control the fields that appear means. Let me expand the lookup card and the details. I don't know, that, that, that control is confusing me. This is the confusing part for me. Okay, but basically, the compact layouts control some of the stuff. I'm going to go through it and we'll figure it out. Compact layouts help make your team more productive by presenting them with the key record information so they can easily manage their work. For example, Excuse me. For example, show phone numbers and regions on an account. For example, you can show phone numbers and regions on an account. Or you can display stages, amounts, and ownership fields of, on an opportunity. With compact layouts, you can highlight whatever your users need to see at a glance when they look at a record. As with page layouts, there are separate compact layouts for each object. Here's an example of an opportunity record page for Burlington Textile Weaver Plant Generator. The first several fields you assign to an object's compact layout appear in the object's records, record highlights panel. And in the expanded lookup card you see when you ho hover over a link in record details. The field you put first displays the top of the... This is making no sense to me. As with layout page layouts, there are separate compact layouts for each object. Okay, so just like you could have unique page layouts, there can be unique compact layouts for each object. Here's an example of an opportunity record page. Of course, an opportunity, opportunity is an object. A single listing in that object is a record. It has fields. Fields are built on objects. Uh, the first several fields you assign to an object's compact layout appear in the object's record highlights panel and the expanded lookup card. You see when you ho hover over a link in Oh, okay. In this case, highlight panel, the highlights panel reflects the fields in the opportunity compact layout. An expanded lookup card reflects fields from the account compact lookup layout. I'm not really reading this well because my brain's just like totally me. Okay, so when I hover over the account name field, 
I get to see this compact layout information. Okay, as with page layouts, there are separate compact layouts for each object. Here's an example of an opportunity record page. I'm going back and reading this because it's not making sense. The first several fields you assign to an object's compact layout appear in the object's record highlights. That's this stuff. Wait, 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 no, that's the same information. This is the opportunity, and this is the company name. As with page layouts, there are separate compact layouts for each object. Got that. Here's an example of an opportunity record page. This is. The first several fields you assign to an object's compact layout appear In the object's record highlights panel and the expanded lookup card you see when you hover over a link in the record details. Alright, I, 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 I understand that this is trying to tell me something but I, I, about how these work with each other, but I, I don't think I understand that right yet. In this case, the highlights panel reflects the fields in the opportunity contact layout and the expanded lookup card. The highlights panel, that's this little guy, which we numbered these, it reflects the field in the opportunity contact layout and the expanded lookup card. Wait, the highlight panel maybe this at the top? I don't know what the highlight panel is. They appear in the object's record highlight panel and in the expanded lookup card. Yeah. I'm not understanding what is the highlight panel and what's the... This looks like the lookup card. But it's just... I, I don't know. It's not making sense to me. We'll keep going. Compact layouts control how records display in the Salesforce mobile app. If your company uses the Salesforce mobile app, you can help your users see what they need on their mobile screens where space is limited. And quick recognition of records is important. Okay. Here's a sample compact layout edit page for the account object. Okay. It shows the name of a layout and a list of fields to display. Okay. Here's the related page for the same account object in Lightning Experience. You can see the account's name, phone number, type, industry rating, and the account owner at the top of the page. Account name, phone type, industry rating, account owner. Account name, phone type, industry rating, account owner. Okay. And here's what the same record, account record looks like in the mobile app. Here we go. Create a compact layout. When you create a custom object, it's automatically assigned to a system default compact layout, which has only one field on it, the object name. Okay, Maria wants to call attention to the most important fields on the object when her users use the auto records. Let's make that happen by creating a custom compact layout for the energy audit custom object.
So the user story. The user story is as a who's the user that's using the energy audit custom object? As a sales rep? Do other teams need to use that? Engineering teams? As a sales rep, I want to see the key fields on the energy audit custom object so that I can quickly see what's important, work faster. I feel like I'm not quite, this, is, this isn't on mobile. I just read about mobile, but this isn't necessarily on mobile. When her users, uh, when, when looking at it, um, Okay, I think that's the case. First, find and open the compact layout set at node in the setting. Okay, fine. First, gotta do this. Resourceful Badger, Myolila. Find and open the compact. Be nice if we had a little button here. Open that said you can click here to open your trailer playgrounds. First, find and open the compact layouts node in setup or energy audit. From setup, clip object manager. Click Energy Audit to open the object and then click Compact Layouts. I'm going to click New. Give the Compact Layout a label. Energy Audit Compact Layout, Creative. Okay, what fields are we going to add here? Add these fields to the Compact Layout in this order. Energy Audit Name, Account. Annual usage and annual energy usage. Average annual electric cost. And type of installation. Click save. All right, congratulations. You have now created the Energy Audit Compact Layout. Now, let's set that compact layout that you created as the primary compact layout for the object. This step makes the compact layout the new default for the Energy Audit Custom Object. Click Compact, okay. So now that we've created it, you now assign it as the default. Click Compact Layout Assignment. Oh, 
Go ahead and edit assignment. Select Energy Compact Layout and click Save. Cool. Great job. Now, when users view an energy audit record, they will see the most important information where they need it most at the top of the record page. Energy audits, not the app. Energy audit name account. Energy audit name account. Cool. Okay, that's what, that's what I just did. Okay, so as a note to self, um, when you type in energy, when you start looking, make sure you select the item, not the app. I know this is a stupid question, but what's the difference between the two? Can I open that? Can I open this in a new tab? So this is an app. That brings in energy audits and a whole bunch of other information right okay so um, so note to self when you type in energy and you go looking you could find this new energy audit record either in your app or under just direct items. Um, as an item, it's going to appear this way. In the app, it's going to appear like this, where you've got all the other important information that you pull together into your app. Energy audits item. I feel like item's not the right word for it. Is it, a, is it a record? Is it an object? I think it's an object. Okay, I don't remember. I mean, we, here it's called an audit, an item, but I don't feel like item's the right word for it. These are all objects. Okay. Earth and Major Solar is starting designs for its next generation solar components. So, in short, you could find it either way. You can either go to the app and then go to that object, or you could just go directly to that object, which is listed under items. And I'm a little bit confused why it's called items, uh, why this is listed as items. 
when it's an object. But I could be wrong, so I'm not clear. The point is, is you can get to it either way. Our major solar is setting starting designs for its next generation of solar components. To develop a baseline for the new project, the design team is analyzing the typical energy savings that a customer customers get with the current product line. To support this work, the team would like to see a different set of fields in the highlights panel on auto records. But our major solar consultants need to see the fields that are included in the primary compact layout for the energy auto custom object. What's Maria to do? Easy. She creates an, audio, an energy audit record type and assigns it to the profiles of the users on the design team. Then she creates a different custom compact layout for the energy audit object, which includes the fields requested by the design team. Finally, she edits the compact layout assignment for the energy audit objects to, the, uh, to, the assign, to assign the new compact layout to the record type. And voila, I feel like this would be better as bullet points, frankly instead of a paragraph. It's a little bit hard for me to follow. But I think I got it. She's basically going to create it and then get the inputs as to what fields they want, create it, and then assign it. And voila, Arista Major Consultants get highlights of the auto record details they need while design team members see the highlights that they need. Okay. I'm going to pause while I try the challenge. Okay, so I've created this new Opportunity Compact Layout. I've made it as the primary. And we're going to come back here and check the challenge. Eventually that made sense. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope it helped.